Bible Basics Q&A with Professor Pete. Hello again, everybody. This is Peter Sibilio, the Bible teacher from Lord's University. We love your questions at Annunciation Radio, and it's my pleasure to help with some answers. Today's question comes from Robert, who asks, What does John 3.16 have to do with the Trinity? I'll see your question, Robert, and raise it with one from the gridiron. What does John 3.16 have to do with kicking footballs? Well, I guess that extra points and field goals get you points. Either three or one. That does relate to Trinity, but it's nowhere near as clear as John 3, where context is key. We know John 3.16, that famous verse right in the middle of the chapter. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not die, but have eternal life. But the rest of John 3 talks about the Father and the Spirit, too. Remember, Jesus is talking with Nicodemus and has already said no one can enter the kingdom unless born again from the Spirit, because flesh gives birth to flesh, and the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. That is why John the Baptist returns at the end of chapter 3 to summarize what it all means. For the one whom God has sent speaks the words of God. For God gives the Spirit without limit, says John, and the Father loves the Son and has placed everything in his hands. Why? Because God so loved the world. So, John 3.16 really brings all of John 3 together. Yet, it is all of John 3 together that shows us God's love and that God loves the world as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Leave it to John to make at least this aspect of Trinity clearer than some of those quirky kicks in football. And your question makes that clear too, Robert. Thank you so much for it, and thank you all for listening. We are listening to you.